Sorry. Yes. Okay. So this is a case of uh, chronic arthritis external. Now the dog, the treatment of this uh, very bad infected pus and pus inside the ear canals and, and smelly, painful ear is by ear irrigation. Now to do that, the dog has to be sedated first. So now to sedate the dog, I'm talking to the interns. Actually, you don't need to shave. Huh? You don't need to shave the hair because this dog is a big dog, so you can actually see the vein or feel the vein. Now, you shave the hair, although the university teacher teaches you that it's not very happy, some owners are not very happy because it looks like a blemish. Huh? So, that's why I taught the intern either you use Tony K or your, your, your finger is uh, quite strong and, and you, you, you uh, can feel the vein here. So, once you feel the vein here, then the, the, the vet will inject. I did it, I use a Tony K. Where's the Tony K? You use a Tony K, but don't shave, don't shave the hair. Don't shave the hair. The best is not to shave the hair. Where's, where's the Tony K? Down there. Second drawer. Yep. Uh, so, uh, we can try to put the Tony K around. So, what, what is it around behind, uh, behind the elbow? Just, 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 just um, do tight, tightly, tightly, very tightly. And uh, normally, tightly and then tie, uh, and then you can, then you apply uh, alcohol, you wet it, you can see, uh, you can see the, the uh, then put your hand here, and, and you, can, you can feel it, you put the hair, and you can feel the vein there, then you inject the sedation, in this case, dometer plus ketamine, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 dometer, and 0 0.5 ketamine IV, and uh, then uh, the dog is seated as you can see now and uh, it's 50 percent of the calculated dose for this 24 kg now we go to here now the dog is not really 100 percent down so we will top up with the isoferrin gas closed circuit the red is closed circuit you can zoom into it closed circuit is red uh, i put it two percent has the maintenance dose or top up dose and uh, the flow rate about one liter per minute the oxygen flow rate okay and there's the oxygen generator where they generate oxygen from the air rather than the cylinder there's a cylinder stand by the cylinder. okay so now the, put the cone in then uh, we'll just check the blinking reflex come check the blinking reflex once the blinking reflex is gone then i will do the the uh, ear irrigation now. The thing is, you, you can see the the, the back, the, the rebreathing back. You can see the rebreathing back. And although it's closed circuit, but uh, the, the rebreathing back is is moving very well. Huh? Now, so but I don't think it's really closed. So if it's closed, the, the back will fill up. Let's see, see, change the red one to a bit. Turn a bit more, maybe it's not close. Turn some more. Focus on, on what we are doing. Don't don't go and sleep. Huh? Uh, uh, so if, if it's really close, then the back, between the back wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be moving because it'd be inflated. Huh? So turn some more. Turn the, the red one to, to, to a stage where it doesn't. Uh, uh, this one is more close. Huh? See, the back should be full unless it's a leak. Okay, so now we go at this check and see, and then we will start to do the ear irrigation already at two percent maintenance dose. I will just demonstrate that a bit. Is it down? Blinking? Still blinking. Okay, so you can see the ear is pretty bad. You see, this is the since uh, five years ago. The first time I do ear irrigation was five years ago, uh, and the owner treated it with uh, occasional ear drops and so on and so forth but uh, it's got worse I can see there the ulcers, the pus and uh, we'll just take the cotton bud and show show the pus cotton bud you can see that uh, it's really bad you see it would be painful if it without anesthetic 
see even blood there. This is really bad. That's why the owner comes. Now the right ear also similarly painful, but we, we, we are doing the left ear first. Okay. So, uh, we put that two and a half percent if it's not uh, at least two and a half. Uh, that's the maintenance dose. Okay, so this is a cone. Oxygen. I don't know whether oxygen is full or not. Maybe put to one. Normally I use one or two. Yeah. Okay, ready. So just demonstrate the uh, the irrigation. Come, come here, please. Now, the ear irrigation is actually just use clean water, put it there, and then just 45 degrees, and uh, preferably 20 ml syringe. So the, the, it just irrigate the pass out. Then the pass comes out. You can see uh, the, the you see the debris. Not a debris here coming out. So I just use a tissue to, to clean up. So the best is of course to flush it up as much as you can. All the debris, you see that. Mm. The, the dog can't get it out and the owner can't get it out because it's painful. Now it, you can see it's really bad. So I'm going to do some more. Okay, irrigation, 45 degrees. You need the anesthetic, otherwise the dog will, will be very painful. Yeah. There is it coming up. You can see here. So at 45 degrees, the more come out there. Yeah. And they massage the vertical canal. This one leaf out a bit, this leaf out a bit there. Yeah. a bit, so we tilt out a bit. Now we open our tube. So there's no point for the vet to go and put ear drops in and just clean the ear canal from from uh, it does sedation, it does sedation, and hopefully that to, to clear the debris with cotton wool and forceps, it doesn't work that way. Okay, so it's really quite a bit of a force, uh, not just slow and you, know, you can see. More debris coming up there, mm. more debris. Okay. So forty-five degrees. This is the air canal. Such. The dog the dog doesn't feel the pain because of the gas and the And uh, this is really a bad case. Normally, I just I just do ten times. Uh. Okay, so like that, and uh, yeah, get rid of the pass first, yeah. and the, and all the debris. You see, you can see mm. the the cloudy cloudiness. Uh, the pass. Uh. Okay, this is by zoom. Can you no need to put the camera nearby. That's how I use a zoom. That's the purpose of the zoom in. Okay, so I do 20 times. There is 61. Now I reduce to, to 1% because the dog is no more, it's, it's, it's much more anesthetized when you come. And uh, you can see it's really inflamed, uh, very badly inflamed. Okay, so further up a bit. Further up. No, I don't want the water to, to go to the camera. Okay. The horizontal canal is the one causing the, the trouble, but uh, so we try to try to uh, strange out the dirt. Yeah. becomes clearer, clearer, and then I just check with the cotton bud here. Yeah. 
so there should be much there should be much uh, there should be no cars coming out. Be much cleaner, you see. Mm. Much cleaner, but so that the owner can continue with his ear drop for this two blood because of ulceration. Mm. But definitely it's much cleaner as compared to do I do another five more? Then I go to the next year. And uh, as you can see, there's no point using uh, some commercial ear ear drops and all this. Some best will do that, but for me, I prefer clean water, clean water, and uh, so that there won't be any chemicals going inside the ear, affecting the ulcers. You see, the ulcers are there. There's some more. Debris, yeah. No, you cannot do 100%. So, that, so after three weeks of medication and treatment, will be will be to do the cutting here, cut out the the wall here, mm -hmm. cut the rectangular piece here. This called the lateral ear canal resection. Throw away this wall, this this cartilage, and the whole uh, vertical canal will be opened up because you cut this rectangular piece of cartilage off. Huh? Okay, I'm going to finish this and then I'll go to the other ear. Yeah. Of course, you're going to do the big rest now. Uh, uh, rubbing. Hoping to dislodge the, the debris in the horizontal canal. Okay, finish. So now I'm going to turn over the other side. Wait, stop, really. Can I stop? 